it's the Christmas slime. <laughs> Hello. That's right. Bringing slime to all the kids this year. You yeah. would actually probably like that too, I think. So. To be fair, yeah, knowing kids, definitely. Um, oh, and, yeah. And speaking of, like, slimy, gross things that kids actually like, do you want to go see the warden, Jev? I do. <laughs> I do. Because I, I needed some uh, brave adventurers to come with me on an expedition to an ancient city that I have had my eyes on for a while, but I really want to get enough echo shards that I can make a recovery compass and complete the uh, ancient city exhibit of my museum. So that's where you come in. Uh, I will let you have any other loot as long as you let me have at least eight echo shards when we come away from this. Does that sound good? Do you have beds? Oh, yeah, I have beds. I have lots of Okay, wool. We're, we're gonna need them. We're gonna need them. <laughs> is, is, is beds the strat? Is there like a... Or, or just like for respawning, do you mean? You're gonna probably go in there very sneaky. I'm probably just gonna go full send and oh, run you're, you're gonna, like you're a bunch gonna, of times. You're gonna blitz it? Yeah, fair play, fair play. Yeah, I've seen so. that done, and it's for braver people than me, but we'll we'll see how we get on. <laughs> yeah, so uh, hop on down here. The... Uh, the strip mine okay. part of this is long since abandoned. Oh my god, that's so close. Yeah, yeah, like I started like digging this room out and then I got the darkness effect and I was like, mm, nope. <laughs> yeah, but time to go. And I came back down here mining for tough because I build with that a lot and there yeah, are, like yeah. huge patches of tough down here. And then I got to the other side of this cave and realized that it looked straight down into an ancient city, basically. Oh my god, imagine just finding that. That would be incredible, though. Yeah, dude, it was it was pretty wild. So, yeah, you want to be careful, you watch your step, because there's a big ravine kind of drop-off. Oh my god. But then right down there is the first set of buildings for, for an ancient Perfect. city. <laughs> so uh, I've made a couple of wool pathways around here because I got my swift sneak book from here originally. Where do you want to set our beds at and stuff? Um, Probably here. I think this is probably like our safe room almost. I think my plan is going to be to just put my armor and everything up and just run through and find chests and grab them and bring them back. That seems like a good plan to me. Um, Yeah, I, I guess I'll scout for where the rooms are gonna be because i'll i'll head straight for the chests and like the little alcoves yeah, and shrines yeah. and stuff but then yeah i'm just gonna be grabbing as many echo shots as i can and i guess we'll put them back here somewhere sounds like a plan man i brought uh, a bunch of totems for us oh that's that's cool wow you guys have been farming totems huh oh yeah we have a raid farm so oh, nice wow okay yeah you guys oh did, yeah you did that quick look at you being prepared i brought nothing oh i have so then again i really have nothing so I, I have so much wool on me have a stack of white wool to get you started i've got a bunch, bunch more if you need it but if you're just going to yolo it then uh, be my guest i'll go the opposite way so that when the heat comes it won't be on you. <laughs> all right, all right. Sounds good. Because <laughs> the wardens, they can kill you, but they got to catch you first. You know what I mean? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm just going to grab everything out of the chest because I don't know what you need. Like, yeah. I know you need the shards, but oh, loot is loot. There so. was one shrieker there, and I'm happy it was just one. Um, music disc, music oh, my, disc fragments. Uh, my screen is already totally black. It was. <laughs> It's, it's calmed down a little bit now. I found you four shards and a few books. Dude, heck yeah. I'll, I'll leave the books with you, but I'll definitely take the shards. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> the wardens are just really not coming out. It's, I don't know where they're at. It's been a while for me raiding one of these as well. Like, it's been a good long while, so I'm more freaked out than I should be, to be honest. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, no, no, we're going to go back the other way now. <laughs> yep, Ooh. yeah, yeah, we're definitely going back the other way. I, uh -huh. a, I yeah. got a spare silk touch hoe if you want one. I'm just gonna go this way. Oh yeah, he's spawned all right. He's back there. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh god. Not scared at all. Just a little <laughs> trembling. It's okay. We're fine. Oh, three shards. I Perfect. I uh, got you. Let's see. I got four sensors, some catalyst, seven shards, and a disc fragment. Nice. Swift Sneak 3, Power 3, and Thorns. Oh, dude, the Swift Sneak is a score. I bet people are going to really want those because you can't get them from enchanting tables, right? No, you cannot. Nope. Well, I got a free Skeleton but... Skull out of that, so I'm going to pocket that as well. That's that's an awesome find. I would say that's probably one of the best finds, actually. Yeah. Oh, and it sounds like the Warden is going away, so you are all clear. Oh, I've already left. <laughs> You're just gone. He just spawned right in front of me. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh yeah, this... Uh... This is how I die. <laughs> I can hear him. I can't see him. I have no idea where he went to. What a coincidence. I can't see him either. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I forgot to bring food, so there's a good chance that I'm going to die. <laughs> Do you want some food? I can come back and find you. Oh, 
Oh, it, no, it's fine. I'm I'm going to try my best to live, but I think I've got two of them on me. Yeah, I hear another one. So um, good luck with that, I guess. I'm actually going to grab all the redstone lamps. For some reason, I keep running out of redstone lamps when I build stuff. Yeah, going and getting glowstone is kind of obnoxious. So did you get the center chest there? Uh, no. Which one do you mean? Like the one that's normally in front of the portal? Oh, uh, sometimes there isn't one there. It turns out there's like different oh. different designs of them. It can generate three different ways, I think. There's one where it, um, like has an apple for you to eat and the eating sound is what triggers the, the door, but the others, there's one that it just like, you stand on a certain block and it opens, so there's no chest there at oh, all. Oh, I see. I'm cleaning up, my guy. I've got you so many shards so far. Oh, heck yeah. I can see a couple of, I, I'm, I'm using the wool to tactically get to some of the ones that are a little bit more, uh, uh. out in the middle of nowhere, you know, so... Mm -hmm. I can I can bridge over to these and drop down. Uh, oh, I'm I've got a lot of books so far too. I don't know what the books are just yet though. Oh oh no 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 oh no no no. Gonna go this way. Gonna run. Oh and some more disc fragments. Yeah no I could use some of those for sure. I was climbing up a ladder to get into one of those like um like taller buildings. Yeah. And as I'm climbing up the ladder, like I poke my head out and a warden just spawns right in front of me and I'm like oh, yeah I gotta yikes. go. Yeah same here. Gotta get out of there. <laughs> Oh, I hear the heartbeat now. I'm actually pretty close. Oh, I see you in the distance. <laughs> there's he's a uh, running around like a madman. There's a chest in that thing right next to you. Yeah, get that. I feel like he's gonna sneak up on me if I stay still for too long. Yeah. Oh no, there he is. Oh, it's you'll been be a while. fine. You got this. <laughs> it's been a while since I see this guy. I will tell you one thing. Like after using the the swift sneak and then not using it, like on this server, it's a night and day difference. Oh yeah, totally. It's like depth strider now. Like I just yeah. I, I need this stuff to to operate. <laughs> Yeah, for sure, for sure. It's it's wild. I've never actually fought a warden like head on because I think it's kind of impossible. I've but... seen I've seen some really smart ways of doing it. Like first of all, you bring a ton of potions, you throw slowness potions at the thing, and it mm -hmm. slows right down. And then there's a couple of really smart ways you can take it out. But I've seen people fight them without oh. totems and live. When Cleo put one in my base, it took me like seventeen totems to kill yeah. it. So yeah. right, let's take out this one. I don't think I've tripped a Shrieker yet, dude. I've heard you, like, spawning Wardens all over the place, but I'm just, like, <laughs> casually making my way through this. I almost have enough uh, disc fragments for a full music disc now, which is cool. I have five in my inventory. I have a Swift Sneak 3, so you can have that. So the bigger structures, I know that I haven't been in all of them, and I forgot to bring blocks with me, so I know that chest up there has not been looted. I'm going to go to the other side, because I know that there's another one of those towers that I was, like, trying to get into, but he spawned in front of me, so... Yeah, these, these places are fun. Love the warden spawn camping you. Oh, that's three extra echo shards. Heck yes. Oh, heck yeah. That might be that's like, warden. might be enough for two recovery compasses if you've got a decent oh, amount. Oh, maybe. Oh yeah, I've, I've got some. Okay. I'm making my way back to the wall now. We can kind of see what we got. Nice. I'm casting my eye around. I don't see too much more. So I think we might've got everything we wanted to come in for. I actually didn't die at all. I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> you did great, man. You did great. I'm I'm surprised that like the hit and run strategy is working well for you. Speed running at its finest. <laughs> of course, of course. You're the pro. Oh wait, I see one more skeleton skull. I want to go back for. It's right down there by the base of that pillar. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm gonna try and make a smooth landing. I guess the last time I came through here, I don't think I even had elytra. So, dude, we cleaned up. I am impressed. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put everything that I found in the middle chest up there. I will do the same, and I guess yeah, we can. Divide it up. I wouldn't mind having enough shards for the music disc as well, because I know that's not going to oh, be yeah. super useful I, to everybody. There's seven shards there for me. Oh, heck yeah. All right. Oh, that's oh yeah. There's plenty. Take, take anything that you want, like for real. All right. I'm going to have the echo shards and the music disc fragment. I'll, I'll bring enough of those that I can have like a full music disc. But then there's this. There's a few of these. I'm a, I'll probably keep the, the redstone lamps. Um, oh, yeah. So I just want one of the books, and that's pretty much all I need. Yeah. Um, bring back a swift sneak or two, and you can bring those for, like, the other hermits as well, because I'm sure they'll yeah, like those. Yeah, you can have the rest of that, too. Are you sure? Absolutely. All right, I think we should get out of here before something goes wrong. Yeah, it makes sense. Things don't, went too smoothly today. Don't forget to take that boat with you, because you'll need it for the uh, the ice path to get yep, back. Got that. Grab our beds. There we go. Nice. Well, that was <laughs> to have some rockets. Successful mission. That was not gonna lie. That was kind of easy. That was quite the experience. Yeah, <laughs> I think just finding these things is sometimes the hardest part. But uh, oh, most definitely. Yeah. Uh... Yeah. No, we did good. 
Oh, an incredible day. What an incredible day for the museum. That's so great. Let's grab that. Let's make our recovery compass. Yeah. And of course, that's going to point to the last location that I died, right? I wonder where that was, actually. I honestly don't remember the last time I died on this server. It must have been a little while ago. Another really interesting way of preserving history. <laughs> Look. It led me to a couple of emerald ore that I haven't excavated from this mountain. But either way, whether it's just interesting to preserve a compass that points to the last site of my death, or whether it just completes the display of ancient city artifacts, I think this thing is going to be at home in the museum. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Who has taken my ancient city exhibits? They've just gone. We put the recovery compass in the frame now, and of course it spins, because... <laughs> because it's not linked to me anymore. But the Echo Shard and the disc fragment I had before are gone. Well, I guess I can replace them with the ones I just got from the ancient city, but <laughs> who's taken those? No. Unbelievable. Who could have done this? This is, this is the greatest crime in the history of Minecraft, I'm pretty sure. Someone's taken my Deep Slate Emerald Ore. I, I can't believe it. I don't know what they could have done with it. Like, who wants this? Like, I'm probably the only person on the server who ever wanted something like this. But who's taken it? I have to know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who this could possibly have been. But, oh I, oh, I feel weak. Oh, it's killing me on the inside. Oh, God. Oh, oh, my poor Deep Slate Emerald Ore. <laughs> I'll save you. <sighs> oh, oh, I had the weirdest dream. That was rough. Okay, <laughs> well, glad I'm awake now, and, uh, oh yeah, of course, I have to go through all of the stuff, I have to make the recovery compass, yes, alright, so we got enough echo shards for this, I'm gonna have to craft a compass, I guess, I thought I brought one back from the, the ancient city, but I guess not, no worries, I'll just chuck some stuff in here and grab some iron. Eight echo shards around there, and we've got a recovery compass, cool, and I guess that'll point to the location of my last death, so... I wonder where that is. It seems to be kind of close. <laughs> I don't actually remember dying around the capital, but it's leading into the museum and... No! Who's done this? Who's stolen my Deep Slate Emerald Ore? Oh my gosh, this is... This is terrible! This is the worst crime that's ever been committed in Minecraft, I'm pretty sure. Uh, who... Who could possibly have done this? But the recovery compass points right to it. It points right here to the site of the theft, or... Or maybe to the Deep Slate Emerald Ore? Wait a second, is this compass pointing in the direction of the emerald ore? If it is, if the compass is picking up trace amounts of the deep slate emerald ore, then maybe I'll be able to use it to track down the person who stole it. Let's give it a quick test, actually. I do have a spare deep slate emerald ore, and I guess we can put it in here. And the compass is pointing to it right now, but I think that's just the coincidence of stuff in my inventory. Let's pop it down over here, and let's see if the recovery compass points. <gasps> yes! It's pointing to the Deep Slate Emerald, that's it! <laughs> we can use it to sniff out the location! This recovery compass is gonna help me recover the Deep Slate Emerald Ore. It's an ore compass! No, it's a lore compass. In fact, I need to rename this thing Lore Compass. I don't have any levels. <laughs> Wait a second! I do! And once I put the emerald ore back in the chest, the compass is spinning wildly because it doesn't know to find it inside the chest. Where to now, Lore Compass? Where will you lead me next? The compass is leading out this way across the spawn lake, and it's not pointing to the hermit's place, although... <laughs> Wow, this place is coming along. It's out in this direction, across the meadows, and it's leading me to Scott's base. I knew it! Yes, yes, it's pointing me around Chromia. Is... is Scott here? I think I see him in his house. Scott! Yes, I think oh, um, hello? Hey, come hello. out here. We need to talk. Hi. Talk about what? <laughs> I Are think... You look dashing today. Uh, that's neither here nor there. I believe you have something of mine. Some... You're going to need to be more specific. Okay. Did you own some of the wood that I used? Or... Um, I owned a deep slate emerald ore that has gone missing from my museum very recently, and... The lore compass has pointed me directly to you. It's actually- you have a lore compass? Yes, I have a lore compass. Don't question it, it's lore. Okay. This thing is attuned to the scent. It's like a bloodhound for deep slate emerald ore. You've got it. It's pointing directly at you right now. See, that could just be the perfume I use. It does smell sort of earthy, similar, you have... like- Wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. You have deep slate emerald ore perfume? Yeah, I mean, it's like crystal perfume. It makes you feel like a gem, like shine like the diamond you are type. 
you're, you're gonna have to hook me up with some of this later, but never mind. Never mind that. You've got the Deep Slate Emerald Ore. I'm I'm pretty certain I, it's I, it's on your person or in your house or something. I mean, you can have a look. I promise I don't. Literally, this house is basically empty since it's, I... It's po it's pointing directly to this spot right here, but is my lore compass you, faulty? Is is there maybe some Deep Slate Emerald Ore underneath here that it's pointing to? Is it under the carpet? Where Where is it, Scott? I, I don't... I've not even seen a Deep Slate Emerald Ore. I, I've not been deep enough mining. Those are, like, extremely rare. Yes, exactly, which is why I'm slightly miffed that one of them has gone missing for- I'm- I'm gonna get to the bottom of this, Scott. You- you better watch out. You better watch your back, I mean, I'm happy friend. to help where I can because I'm innocent. I will help- I feel like I'm being set up. I- I mean, you know? if you are, There then are many people who don't like me on we, the server. We need to uncover this mystery. Is it the sheriff? Has the sheriff become even more corrupt since last we spoke? That pirate. The pirate is also a- True. A dastardly one. I can... You know, since he got turned down by Catherine, maybe he's taken to a life of stealing. He's already stolen from me before. Me and Joey have a, a kind of understanding at that point. Like, he hasn't stolen from me the entire season. Like, why would he start now? He hadn't stolen from me the entire season until he did. Mm. So, and we hadn't even interacted before he stole from me. I, I'm not sure about this, Scott, but if it's not in here, the law compass is pointing directly to your house and it's not there. You're off the hook for now, but... I'm watching yeah. you, okay? Okay, you can watch Fanny <laughs> time text, don't worry. All right, all right, I'll 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 see you later. Don't, don't leave town. I, I won't. With that business taken care of, I went looking for a different kind of lore. And while it might mean trouble, I decided to direct Mythical Sausage toward the one person I thought could handle it. Sausage? Sausage, are you there? Hello? Oh, I'm in here! Excellent news. I think I've made a breakthrough. What do you have? I have some information for you as well. You do? Here okay. I come. Lore! Nice. Good work. Uh, I... That's how we jump down. You got an interesting new outfit today. What's going on here? Oh, yes. Oh, I have a new tailor that came into town and made this for me. This is for my investigative reporting. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Kind of got a brown coat vibe. I like it. Um, oh, right. Yes. It even goes good with this. Ah, well, th that is something we have to talk a lot about. Uh, do we have somewhere oh. I can set up some redstone? I have some interesting ideas to share with you. So, Mythical Sausage, how have your dreams been lately? Well, I've had a couple bad ones, a couple good ones, and some that take me to another dimension and then whoosh me back in. Uh, so they've been a little weird. So, I have been investigating the science of dreams because your case is an especially peculiar one. And th I've been thinking yeah. about this rift the entire time. This rift has a very metaphysical component, right? There's something kind of ethereal about it, something dreamlike. It's sort of born from the imagination, if you like. Yep, I feel it. So here in the Minecraft world, we don't really dream when we sleep all that often because like you think about sleeping, you don't really have time. Sleep kind of passes within seconds and then suddenly it's daytime again, it's right? Yeah, sometimes I don't even remember. We still have a concept of dreaming. And where does that come from? <laughs> oh, God, you just blew my mind. Tell me, please. I have a theory that logging please. off is like a longer form of sleep. To be truly unconscious to the world around us, we log out, right? And yeah. when you're unconscious, you're open to the influences of a world outside of the one we know. Think of it like redstone current, right? If I pop this redstone yes. torch down here, the power yep. doesn't travel through the glass to that redstone lamp. And the glass is the waking world. When we are awake, it's like we're seeing the world clearly through glass like this, and the power from outside has nowhere to go. But when we sleep yeah. or we log off, darkness. And suddenly, through that darkness, the power is conducted. So when people have observed you dimension hopping, it's yeah. like you're unconscious. Your brain logs off, but your physical body remains here. You just blew my head away. Right? Yeah. And so... This happens too often. Without logging off, without true unconsciousness, the closest simulation we have to that is yeah. sleep. And who, mm. Mythical Sausage, has just started encouraging other players to sleep frequently and made a godlike figure out of someone who champions sleep. Gemini Tay. Gemini Tay! I just wrote this down in my book. Do you right? know that B-dubs told me that he knows her from another dimension? Perfect! This confirms my theory. Gemini Tay yeah. might be the one we're looking for. A dimension hopper. Indeed, indeed. A dimension hopper to a greater extent even than your dreams. Yeah, because she could control it, I guess, because she never complained about it once. I'm the one who just flings myself somewhere. I get stuck there. Sometimes I get teleported back. Sometimes I get uh, just wake up in a different weird place. And you know what? I've seen her logging in and out a lot as well. Oh. 
I suspect that she may be trying to tap into the power of the rift through the power of the unconscious mind. And the Princess of Dawn has always had this kind of, like, no thoughts, head empty vibe about her. It's all an act. It's a ruse! I knew it! Do you know what? She said she doesn't kill anybody. And you know what? The second that B-Dub said, would you like my head? She whooped out her sword and chopped him up right there. Unbelievable. It, it's like m maybe the her from another dimension, the her that taps Ooh. into her unconscious mind, came uh -huh. through in that moment with contact with somebody who said that... Oh. She she knows him from another dimension. It all makes sense. This makes so much sense. I'm in shock that I even understood this whole information. <laughs> I, I aim to be accessible <laughs> in my redstone demonstrations. Oh, but... this is perfect. Oh, yes. I would love to flick this on and off multiple times. But you can't. But I that's, think I broke it. That's it. That's the thing. The unconscious mind, once the power goes through, it's like a one-way thing. Like, it, it can't it can't be switched off. And that might be, that might explain why your dimension hopping has been getting worse and worse since the rift opened. It has been getting worse. It started with Ollie, and ever since the rift came over, I, I can't control it. I did, I think, 17 dimension hops in one moment right now. It was, it, I couldn't stop. If, if dissecting your brain was an option, Sausage, then oh, we, no, we please. might. But no. I need it. Maybe, <laughs> yeah. one, maybe in my zombie form again, man, we can get Shelby to turn me back. You know, I can, I know how to turn myself back over. So I guess the, the thing we need to do now is if this was Gemini Tay right here, we kill her. Um. Well, about that. I mean, we, we, could, we could try that. That seems to be quite a violent option. I think maybe just start by, I don't know, asking her a few questions. Okay, let's not get her yet. It's okay. I like Gem anyways. I think maybe this is just a big old misunderstanding. Maybe we talk to her and it just smooth it all out. You know, maybe she's not the the, the world eater that I think she is. My theories have been wrong before, but we should definitely keep a close eye on her. Oh, I'm ready. Let me put my glasses on, just in case. Yeah, yeah, protect your eyes. <laughs> That's the most yep. important thing here. Yeah, oh man, we gotta be careful too because B-Dubs also said he was the greatest red soda of all time. He said he was even better than Mumbo Jumbo and I don't even know who that is. Yeah, I mean, I've never heard of him in my life. Yeah, so, me either. <laughs> I mean, that's... Ew, who is that guy? I have no idea. <laughs> you know, and somebody named Ethos Slab. I have no idea who that is either. No idea. He said man. he was better than them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We invaders that guy from the out outside. Too. I'm going to fix your floor. <laughs> so I think we probably need to go over and investigate Gemini Tay if she, when she's online and uh, yep. t talk to her about her most recent visits to the unconscious world. Oh, I can't wait to hear what she says. I'm not going to trust anything she says from now on. She better be nice and truthful to us. If not, the sword is coming out. And, and a fine sword it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to kill her. She's too nice. I'm ready for this. Let's go take down a princess. Oh, yes. Dawn, this is a fake empire full of fake people who lie to their friends. Well, I don't, don't want to maybe take it that far okay, but that. <laughs> that might be a, might be a little bit of a harsh opening line uh, okay we, let's start uh, yeah let me pretend i don't know anything about anything mm -hmm. and we got our sunglasses on so we can look cool yep. look like we're blending in with the citizens yep. and also uh so that we we aren't gonna have the the wool pulled over our eyes exactly or maybe she's got some sunbeam power so she shoots it right in her face we don't know <laughs> at this point anything can happen don't want to be solar flared oh yes Oh, I see her. Oh! She's over in the distance. She's building. Gemini Tay! Hi! Hi, what Sun Princess! Doing? Hey! Worshiping the sun. It's a it's a nice day yeah, out. You should. Great, great work. Yeah. Love what you've done with the place. I'm building the warehouse. Ooh, what are you gonna put in this warehouse? Secrets? Sorry. No, it's gonna be my it's my storage room for like for oh. my wares, for my honey and, and oh, cool. stuff, you know, honey, honey oh, that's nice. Tops. I love warehousey. I wanna I can't wait to see this. Yeah, oh, pretty. it should be good. And I'm going to do like a crane. It's going to be so awesome. It's going to be great oh, for I importing and exporting. Fine. With all the hermits here, you know, we got to got to up our game a bit. Yeah. Yeah, about these hermits. Shh, play, play along, Jim. Play along. Uh, mm -hmm. About these hermit what? people. That don't, don't worry, Sausage. Don't worry. Um, you seem to know a great deal yeah. about them. Are you by any chance sleeping a lot? Oh, she's doing it now. Sausage. Oh, you're doing it as well. What? Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's a conspiracy. We're supposed to sleep. Yeah. Picks, you have sunglasses. The church. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, the church, the church, but also sorry, unconsciousness up, up, and the connections of the of the mind. It, it all sounded like it made sense when I was explaining it earlier. Um, but yep. me, me and me and Mythical Sausage, we're, we're a little bit suspicious. Just a suspicious. little bit. Of what? Just exactly. a tiny bit. I mean, all the sleeping, all the sleeping that's been going on, all all of these mysterious travelers from another dimension who seem to be very, very keen on sleeping. What did you two drink this morning? What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> we we may have had a little too much coffee, but also there are some things happening with other dimensions. Yeah, we've got travelers. They they came through a portal though. That's pretty standard. We know how those work. It's rift. 
Don't move from there right now. You are trapped. Now tell me <laughs> oh, everything. How does beat ups know you from another world? Oh. Well, sausage, sit down. I came here, right, in a different outfit. You remember? You remember when you first met me? Yeah, it was it was a Day nice one. You had holes in your jeans. Right? Yeah, yeah. I had overalls on. It was really nice. Yeah. And I I have costume changes. And sometimes I okay. I look a little bit different. Oh. And I do this thing called role playing. And right now, I'm a princess. But sometimes I play with B dubs and then I'm an elf. And that's how he knows me. Oh. In another But world. you gotta keep it a secret. Secret. Okay. I'm good at keeping secrets. Let me tell you right now. Every, yeah. Everything is, that gets inside of me stays in there like a steel trap. Yeah, you definitely kept the other princess a secret. We're pretty good at keeping secrets, especially when the secrets aren't being kept from us, right? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. So I think Jem's uh... been quite honest in this case yep. and, and maybe, maybe isn't sitting on a throne of lies <laughs> in this particular case. No thrones of lies. You're not going to murder all of us, though, right? No, that's the whole point of the princess character. I'm not even carrying a sword right now. Come on. You, that's like you the key part. kill B-dubs in two seconds. Well, where B-dubs is from, we kill B-dubs a lot. It's really weird that we have a religion based on a sun god who doesn't mind dying a whole bunch. Uh, the gods on this server are a little strange. Hmm. Well, yeah, that <laughs> that seems to be true. And we have the, the foremost expert on them right here. I know all of them. They're all my best friend. Right, but you're loyal to the sun god, right? Because you're wearing the sunglasses. Yeah, but loyal to every, all of them. Yeah. The the sun, the sun, the sun. Yeah. And be and and, and green fell out of the world. <laughs> yeah. I mean. <laughs> maybe but, you ought to go investigate that. You know, maybe I'm the normal one on this server. I oh, think you're free, that I'm you're free. quite ordinary. Um, quite ordinary. I mean, if people are falling out of the world, sausage, then you know, maybe they could be traveling through more rifts. What if there are more rifts out there? There could be more rifts. Oh, I have to go. investigate this too. So can you just keep jumping whenever you want? Can you control your power? Yeah, I do whatever I want. She can control play. The then maybe What's you can play? too, right? You're not yeah. in control. You just... I just jump from place to place without any control. Earlier today, I actually went to another realm uh, with beat-ups. I actually took somebody with me this time. Do you think maybe you might want to get some control? That seems like much worse than what I'm doing. I don't know. Maybe there's like a wizard or something out there that I can ask for some help. Thanks for <laughs> telling us the truth now, Gemini T from multiple realities. I'm so I'm sorry this about him. He's he's going through a lot. He's, 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 he's that's genuine. He's, he's actually whoa. crazy. He's he's got a lot to process, I think. So celebrity! He's actually crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um it's nice having him around. It it is it is. Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. he's off. Good I bet. I better follow. Thanks. So yeah, sorry to babysit. sorry to drag you all into this. <laughs> I don't know how Gemini Tay does it. Sometimes <laughs> this role play stuff, <laughs> I get in over my head a little bit. And I hope you've enjoyed this episode. It's been a little bit different, but sometimes when other people have got stories going on, I kind of can't help but have a little bit of the story going on myself, <laughs> like just so that it blends in with everybody, and I'm not the one guy who's like reading all the comments to find out what people are up to. You know what I mean? So. I feel kind of bad for, like, almost blowing Gem's cover a little bit, but people are going to find out one way or the other, right? But that's where we're going to leave it for this episode of Empire's SMP. I hope you've enjoyed it. And in the meantime, I have been doing a little bit more building. I'm going to work on some more buildings there in the avenue and a few other bits and pieces. So stay tuned, because there's a lot more stuff coming up from Empire's. Thank you so much for watching. My name has been Pixel Riffs. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you folks soon. Take care. Bye for now.